What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back at it. We got Russell's motor on the stand. All of his parts are finally in. I have the crankshaft. I'm gonna get ready to lay into this block. Uh, we're gonna check the clearances with some Plasti Gauge. Make sure that we're in the ballpark. I know there's proper tools to do this, but the bearing clearances were really good before, at least on the crankshaft side. We ordered the same bearings, so laying all this stuff together. I'm just gonna verify that our clearances are good. Then we're gonna start slamming this motor together. Let's jump into it. So first and foremost, got a set of King's Race Series bearings here. I've had really good luck with these out of the past. We ordered a set of standard size bearings for a Gen 3, Gen 4 LS. The important thing about these bearings, number one, there's a set of bearings with holes in them. That's for your oil passage. They go on the bottom side of the crank, and then there's a set without holes. These go on the cap side of the crank. Also, there's one different bearing in here. That's your thrust bearing. This goes on your middle journal. So I'm gonna get these laid in here dry to begin with. I've already got this block really clean, prepped, uh, wiped down with ATF. Check the clearance once everything, again, is good. If the clearance is good, I'm gonna take it, take the crank back out, lube everything up, get the crank set back in it and everything torqued down. plastic gauge on the wrong side. We're basically at about 20 thousandths, between 15 and 20 thousandths. I'd rather have this motor closer to 30 thousandths, 25 to 30 thousandths. This is within factory spec. I like to play it safe on these motors. We're gonna probably be spending 8,000 plus RPM and over a thousand horsepower. So we got a set of extra clearance bearings here and I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in. laid in the motor spins over nice and free I like to use this Permatex ultra slick on main bearings rod bearings cam bearings etc I've had really good luck out of this stuff over the years pretty much anytime you're putting assembly lube in a motor if you they make molly based and then they make an oil based lubricant like what I like to use and in most instances if you have a oil based surface, so basically oil is going to displace the lubricant, you know, once the engine runs, you want to use an oil based assembly loop. If you're using like a flat tappet cam or like a 2JZ head where it's metal on metal surfaces, that's where the Molly loop comes into play. Did wind up swapping out the bearings for the extra clearance set. It put me right around 25,000, basically right where I wanted it. The other bearings would have worked. They were within factory spec, which is around 12 to 15 thousandths, but like I said, I'd like to have just a little bit extra of an oil clearance there. We're gonna be turning this thing pretty hard and leaning on it. Next up, I'm gonna get all these rods and pistons out of the boxes and matched up. And then we're gonna file our ring set and then get all this stuff in the motor. <laughs>
Well, guys, it's been a hot minute. We did button Russell's motor up. Didn't film the rest of it. He came in and wound up buttoning up the top end and putting all the accessories and dressing it out. I probably should have been a little bit better with filming on that, but it's just been a hectic couple weeks. My son was born, so I was out of work for a week. And then when I got back, it was just in the habit of getting caught up. This is like my first full week back, really. I think we're gonna try to get Russell's car to the track here in the next couple weeks. He's got the motor back in the car. It's pretty much ready to go. The Nova is just about wrapped up. I still have to put the alternator bracket on and everything else is pretty much done. I did start on the downpipe, but I might hold off on that until we get, he gets done with the car again and we get starter and some wiring in. I need to make sure that I have clearance around it. We also have Steve Celine in here. Uh, this is a blower car. I've always really liked this car. It does still have a small block Ford in it. It's got a big blower on it and we are finally going intercooled. Another project at the shop here. I do have a stock bottom end six liter. Uh, we're putting this into an S10 Blazer. The reason why we're going with a six liter is this 5.3 came out of it. He brought it in here for a head gasket job. He bought the Blazer with it already swapped, running and driving, kind of unknown its history. Kept overheating on him. He brought it by my shop. I took a look at the tune while he was here. It, it had overheated and we looked, the radiator was full of uh, head gasket stop, leak, whatever, part store junk. So we brought it in to get the head gasket done. We get the motor out, start tearing it down, and I found a crack in the sleeve. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to see on camera because I ran my hone through it just to see if it was just a mark in the sleeve or it was an actual crack. It was definitely cracked. So because it was cracked, he went on a mad hunt overnight, found this six liter this is a gen 3 motor we're not doing anything crazy with this it's basically a cam only deal something for him to have fun in got this thing tore down it is very clean we were told it has 113,000 miles on it i think and i don't doubt it i did clean up the tops of the pistons a little bit they just had some carbon and stuff built up on it. we're going to wind up pulling the cam and valve train and stuff out of that motor heads and all that and putting it on the six liter we do have new lifters, new head gaskets. I'm gonna re-gasket this whole motor before it goes into the blazer. That way, you know, it's not easy to work on. It's just like Ryan's S10, which also went home finally. But we're gonna re-gasket this thing. That way when he puts it back in, he doesn't have to lay awake at night wondering if it's gonna have oil leaks and stuff. <laughs> Making good progress on this 6.0. It's a mess in here right now. We are getting it wrapped up. I wound up pulling the cam out of his 5.3 and putting it in here. Wound up being a Summit truck version two something or other torque cam. They don't make it anymore. I don't know how old it is, but he wanted to use it since he had it. Slid that guy in there. New timing chain, new oil pump. Wound up being in this motor anyway. We used the existing oil pan and pickup. And I am gonna use the 5.3 heads that were on the other motor, which wound up being 862s, I believe, over the 317s that came with the six liter. I do know the 317s have a bigger valve and I think a little bit larger of a runner, but the 862s permit more compression. Pretty sure Richard Holdner's tested this time and time again that the compression makes more of a difference than the bigger valves do. So being this is gonna stay an all motor deal for a while, we're just leaving the 862s on it. It'll probably be really happy. It's definitely gonna be way happier than it was with the 5.3 in it. So let me get this guy buttoned up. I think Brian might come out here tomorrow evening and put it back in the blazer. And then this weekend, we're gonna be tuning on it.
Well guys, Brian and I got Storm's Blazer wrapped up. We got the new six liter in. Not the prettiest, of course, because it's an S10 and everything is crammed like shit in here. It is in. The only problem we really ran into was to get the old crank sensor out of the old block. I did have to pry it out and I kind of had a feeling it was gonna be a problem. So I had to wind up grabbing a new crank sensor from GM this morning, pop that guy in, fires right up now. As you can see, she's nice and crispy. Gonna get this guy wrapped up, knock some tuning out on it, get it back to Storm. Gonna wrap this video up there. I uh, got some stuff coming with Steve's car here this week. The Nova that's still here, it's still my fault. Stay tuned guys, appreciate you coming in. Remember, if you like the content I'm putting out, like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. We'll see you guys on the next one.